In this video, we're talking all about the connections panel in the top right of the new Positron IDE for Data Science by Posit. So as you can see, I have an empty R session and I have an equally empty connections panel. And in this connections panel, it basically tells me no database connections are currently active. But if I go over to where you see the dot dot dots, notice I don't even have a wizard that's open. So how can we actually register connections in this panel? And then what we need to do is we need to go over and we need to first create a new R file. And let's go ahead and save this R file uh, into sort of a new folder. And let's call this new folder Positron SQL and then press create. And then let's call this script here setup-connections.r. So now we have basically an R script that's all set for us to enter in new uh, commands to generate the connection. This connection has to be generated and sort of established through what's called the connections contract. This idea Posit actually had for RStudio back in the day, and it's actually what powers the connections panel over in the RStudio IDE. So basically inside of Positron, they're reusing the same technology, which means that if your uh, database um, has support for our studio's connection contract, you can actually use it. So in that end, right, if we go on to Positron's um, solutions page for all databases, which I'll link down below, basically we can see that plenty of them are supported. The one that we'll work with today is basically SQLite. So if I go ahead and I gently click on SQLite, you can see all of the steps that are really required to uh, sort of form a connection. However, one of the downsides here is um, on these pages, you're forming the connection directly using DBI instead of going through RStudio's connections package, which basically has support for all of you know, uh, the different SQL packages. Um, and by opening a connection through the connections package, you'll ensure that uh, your uh, connection will be visible in the panel um, within Positron. So with that said, let's jump back into Positron. Inside of Positron, what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're going to actually want to make sure that the folder that we saved our, our script in uh, is open underneath the Explorer. So we're gonna go ahead and press the Explorer, then open folder, and then we're going to select here the Positron SQL folder that we previously created where the R script is. If we go ahead and press open, you'll notice that the IDE resets and you're back to the welcome screen. If we click on off on the welcome and then we click on the setup-connections, we can then start actually writing uh, the necessary um, code to form the connection. So here what we're going to then also do is we'll say pound install acquired packages, then we'll say install dot packages, um, we'll say parentheses C, parentheses quotations R SQL Lite, and then uh, end quotations comma um, connections, and we'll run that line of code. What will happen is when we run that line of code using command or control enter, depending on if you're on a Mac or on a Windows computer, it'll take that line inside of the script and it'll run it inside of the console down below. Now, the next part here is we need to load the packages. So we need to go ahead and say library connections and then library here, uh, R SQLite. Now we can highlight multiple lines by holding down the shift key and then our up arrow uh, to select two lines. And then we can run both lines of code by using command enter. Um, so both packages are now uh, loaded. If we uh, type out the next line where we're saying uh, open a new connection, what will happen is we can actually start to see a connection get picked up by the connections menu. So let's say con is going to be equal to connections, colon, colon, connections, connection underscore open, parentheses, and then we'll say R SQL light, and then SQL light, and we'll say that this is going to be an um, 
local file facts.sqlite uh, database. So if I go ahead and I run this line of code, you'll notice inside of the session, I now have the con that's being uh, shown. On the Explorer window, you can see that we've created a local uh, file backed SQL file. So that means that this will persist through different sessions. And if we go over to that connections panel, we now have for the first time a connections object where we can see that this connection was formed in R. It's currently connected. We can use this little button over here to refresh. Um, and there's again nothing really inside of it. So let's go ahead and populate it. One way that we can populate the database is we can write a table uh, into the database. So here let's say db write table parentheses con empty cars comma empty cars and then we'll say overwrite is true and we'll run that line. And lo and behold, on the far right hand side, we now see empty cars inside of um, the connections panel. And we also see for the first time that there is this little eye where there, if we click on the eye, we go into the interactive data viewer. So we can see all of the different columns um, on the left hand side, right, just as a high overview. We see by mousing over what their uh, data type is. Um, and then on the far right, where you're seeing the zero, that's denoting how many missing values are present in the given column. Moreover, um, again, uh, we can individually inspect or go through different lines inside of this um, interactive data viewer if we want, but in this case, we don't need to. So we're gonna go ahead and close off of it. Um, and then we're going to save this as a file. And that's it, we have a connection established. Again, I want to emphasize though, we can use this with a lot more uh, databases outside of just SQLite. So chances are you're going to want to use this with Google's BigQuery or Postgres or even, you know, uh, a Snowflake connection. Okay. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye now.